Let's try this variation on a backward problem. In here we're given information on x, which is normally distributed with a standard deviation. We don't get information on the mean and we're asked for the mean though. So this is, con this is a backward problem because I've been given the probability and I'm asked to find something else. Okay, um, we're given the x value, we're given the standard deviation, but we're asked for the mean. So watch how this works. First step, carry this out as though it's a backward problem. So I'm going to put step one here. Step one, draw it. And what are we drawing? We're drawing to find out how many standard deviations we have to be away to have 95.05% on the right of a value. Okay, and we're going to do this standard deviations away first. So where would I be? <coughs> What's to the right of this? That's 50. If I go less than that, it's going to be even less than 50. So let's go over here instead. So over here might be a good place to say there are 95. Oh, 05. All right. So we are given information on the probability, and we have to go backwards to find the z score. But the tables, if I want to use the z score tables, it's only provided I have information on the left side. We can get that with an intermediate step, we can get that by subtracting this amount from 1. So if I take 9505 from 1, I find that this area here is equal to 0.5. All right, so that's what I look up inside and out. When I do that, I get the value negative 1.65, which makes sense because I'm on the negative side of the table, or it's a negative side of the curve, less than zero. All right, so I know that I have to be 1.65 standard deviations below the mean to have 95.05% to the right. What, how many um, units would that be um, in this variable? I don't talk about what the units are, but x is um, the little x, or the value of x would be 25. So let's carry out step two to make more sense of this. Step two, we compute an x value where z standard deviations from the mean are, let's plug in what we have, x is actually given 25 and that's not usually given but this is the thing I'm telling you this is a variation on the backward x type 2 problem so z is negative 1.65 sigma is 8 and the mean is what we want to find so here's the thing you need to solve this algebra here to find mu. How do you do that? Rearranging rearranging means you can put mu on that side and this one on this side or however else. In algebra this would turn out to be mu equals 25 plus 1.65 times 8. Because I'm moving this whole amount over here and equaling or making it equal mu, since I'm moving the whole amount over here, this negative becomes a positive. Okay? And our answer when you add that all up will be D. 38.2.